Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo Yoga 530 models in front of us. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can service and repaste and clean up your uh, laptop from inside. If your laptop is running in warm and you have lots of dust built in or if you can observe on the bottom grill that is enough dust in there that means inside it's even worse. So you can follow the video to see how we're going to open it up step by step and how we're going to clean it. You're going to be needing few tools. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I use that and I recommend highly the IFX set tool set kit that they have all the bits that you need. And the special thing about this tool set is the bits that are S2 class steel. That means they will last you much longer period of the time compared to any other cheap brands. We're going to be using uh, bit number torque 5 and Philips number 0 from this tool set. Also, you will be needing a opening tool. You can get the pro version on this one. I'll leave the link in the description. The pro version will provide you with a opening tools and pliers and many other opening plastic opening tools. So, but if you don't want to spend the extra to get the pro set, at least get the screwdriver set. For the opening tool, you can use the uh, guitar pick, the metallic guitar pick, which has a soft edges and is really tough to bend. And you will need a tweezer, curved tweezer, pointy. And obviously you will need a good thermal paste. I use the Arctic MX4, or you can use an Arctic Silver 5, or you can use one of the best brands, which is the uh, cryonaut. The Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut is one of the top of the line. Then it comes down to MX4. And the sec third one would be the Arctic Silver 5. I'll leave the link in the description for all these three. And also you will be needing a work shop towel. Which they come in a row. So you need one of these. And you need an alcohol. You need an isopropolic or isopropolic 90 plus alcohol. Make sure it's over 90, not under 90. Otherwise, it's gonna, you're going to damage your motherboard. So with all these tools set, we're going to get it started. You want to power off the laptop completely, flip it upside down, and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws at the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead, use torque number five, and start removing all the screws. Also, I want to take a moment to thank you guys for supporting the channel with your feedbacks. I realize that the only one person of you guys that subscribe to my channel or clicking that like button. If you guys want to support the channel and motivate me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions, just click that like and think about subscribing. It really greatly helps out. Once you remove all the screws, now what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool and you want to place it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, about one or two millimeters inward. Next, you want to just twist it, just like that, all the way to the front, corner to corner, do the sides, make sure you hit those tiny clicks, do the left. Now on the back, there's a tiny line right at the back. You want to poke it right in there and then twist it right in there. And the bottom cover should come out pretty easy. All right, down here we can see the battery, the heat sink and the fan, which is kind of dirty. You can't see it in the video. You will also need to grab a old uh, toothbrush or new toothbrush, whatever you like, to clean up the fan. Before we continue, I will recommend you guys to grab and disconnect the battery, grab it by the cables, and pull it backward so you can disconnect the jack. Now, we need to remove the fan, remove the jack from the motherboard, just slide it out. We need to untangle this Wi-Fi cable from here, but before we do that, we can just go ahead and remove 
one, two, three screws for the fan with a Phillips number zero. Then we can go ahead. And before we continue, let's go ahead and remove the four screws for the X clamp for the heat sink. They have a C lock on them, so the screws will not come out entirely. You just have to rotate. Just do like a five, six turns, and that's it. Now we're gonna grab from the corner, just lift it up, and pull it backwards towards the battery a little bit. Bring it up this way. Now we can see the cable. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the color. The black one is with a black arrow, the white cable with a white arrow. Just pull them up, untangle the cable. And there's your old thermal paste, which is really toughened and hardened. So we're gonna use a toothbrush to clean this one here, and we're gonna use an air compressor to blow and clean up this uh, fan. Do not use the air can blow uh, for air cans. Those are really bad. They have a humidity, and those are marketing for people to use. Don't use that. Use the air compressor. I'll leave the link in the description for a good air compressor. They are much more powerful and is a dry air, so it will not damage or anything. So before we go outside and clean up with a toothbrush, we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste simply by grabbing one corner of the towel and we're just gonna soak it in an alcohol. This alcohol is not conductive, so grab it and just rub it over the CPU die. Again, you do not need to clean up the hole around the thermal paste on this side because there's a tiny capacitor. You can blow the, remove the capacitor, then you can damage the CPU. As long as you clean up the die, you are just fine. But if you want to be really picky and go ahead and clean up the uh, die the, around the capacitors, then you can just grab a plastic, not a metallic. Just go ahead. Uh, Grab one of these plastic ones, and then slowly and gently you can go ahead and remove the chunks of it, and just make sure you, if you feel the capacitors, just stop. But again, this is really not necessary. You do not need to do this part. I'm just doing it for those people that are actually really picky and they want to remove everything. You can do it like that, and just. Pick it up. Once you have the whole big chunks of them out, you can again put a tiny drop of the alcohol in there, use a toothbrush to get in between the capacitors to remove everything in between the capacitors. I will repeat myself, you do not need to do this part, as long as you clean the die, you're more than okay. You do not need to go to this extent to clean it. Once the die is clean, same thing here, just wipe it on top, make sure it's nice and clean, there's no extra chunks in there. All right, now I'm gonna take it outside. I'm just gonna clean it up with a toothbrush and blow the air through, and I'll be back. Now, if you look at it, it's really nice and clean, and we cleaned up everything. So once you bring it, if you put a fingerprint in here, you have a little grease on your fingers, make sure you do a second pass, clean up nicely. Now, what we're gonna do before we plug in, make sure you do not touch this other end, so grab it from here. Tangle first the Wi-Fi cable around the Fan that makes life easier for the next step. Now keep it in this position, grab your thermal paste and apply a tiny line on the CPU. All right, now we're gonna bring it down evenly. First, put this end under the hinge and bring it over. 
Once you put the CPU down, do not lift it up again. Otherwise, you're going to create an air bubble. Now we're going to tighten up these screws, just cross each other. They do have an actual number, one, two, three, four, or you can do whatever, as long as you do cross, you screw them, you just fine. Put the three screws for the fan. And the most important part is to slide back down the fan cable toward the jack. Make sure it's nicely. Grab the Wi-Fi cables. Remember the color, the white one goes with a white arrow, the gray with the white, and the black goes with a black arrow. You just have to snap them in. And I'm just pulling a little bit of backward the cables so I have a little room when the hinge opens so it just doesn't pull the cables. So let's give it a little room to play. So that's fine. Once you have that placed, Grab the connector for the battery, align it, and push it towards the jack. And we are almost done. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover. Again, if you have a dust in here, use a toothbrush and clean the mesh right here. Bring the bottom cover on top, squeeze it down, press the corners. Make sure you hear those clicks really nice on the back end. And there we go. And the last part would be to switch back to torque number five and placing the bottom screws. Again, again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys to do your own service cleaning for your Lenovo Yoga 530 model. If it did, please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing. I really appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.